Hey everybody, so today I'm going to show you a little bit about ragworm. Now ragworm are a fantastic bait, especially for the summer months. They're really good for the bass, they're good for the place, soul like them. And the good thing about ragworm is they last for ages. So if, if we sent you ragworm on a Monday, they would still be alive by the weekend. Um, they're just a good all round bait to have in your box. Um, and they're brilliant. The visibility in the water, if the water's clear, they're fantastic. If the water's chocolatey, the scent that comes off them, the blood and everything. Again, just a really good all round bait. Um, so ragworm, as many of my customers know, uh, they do actually bite and we have people come in and they say oh I'm not buying them because they bite or I'll buy them but I'm going to cut all the heads off first before I use them and the re I'll show you quickly because I've got one here that's actually and I'll show you the little pincers and some of you might be a little bit shocked but this is the actual pincers off of a ragworm so yeah, as you can see that those there can give you quite a little nasty shock I mean it doesn't really hurt it is just a little bit of a oh you know what was that um, but that is the reason as you can see there what everyone's scared of but when you see them in the tray and I'll show you quickly I'll just take when you see them in the tray you know they're I'm not afraid of touching them and lots of anglers aren't but you can understand from those pincers why people would be. So what I'm going to do now, show you how to bait up your hook using a ragworm. And if you're a little bit nervous of touching them, we're going to use one of these to do the baiting up. And this is uh, the little bait loader tool. So I'll show you how to do that. So as you can see, I've got myself a nice live ragworm out of the tray and it's always easier to do this on a flat surface and it's not the nicest of jobs let me tell you it's pretty grim and um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start by poking the baiting stick straight where the pincers come out straight into its mouth and I know it's not glamorous it's not nice and environmental health and all that would probably say oh that's cruel and yeah there's nothing nice about using live animals to catch fish but there we are okay so I've threaded the worm onto the baiting needle there and as you can see all the blood and everything's coming off this is why there's such a good bait in the sea you've got so much um, juices coming out of their flavour the fish will just they just love them so once you've got your worm on the hook on the uh, the bait loader stick there sorry I'm going to grab my pre-tied rig here just a standard 2-0 hook and what I normally do is if you can see I'm just going to poke the hook through the ragworm there so as you can see it's sort of through the head and then I'm going to turn it around sorry my camera's a bit low down I'm going to turn it around and rest the point of the hook just on that point there and then pull the line tight down to the end so can you see there that's the position that I've got the hook in with the worm so once your line is nice and tight there and you're going to need a little bit of bait elastic which I have here in my cup and then just untangle that Take your bait elastic and then you're just gonna we don't want too much on this but we're just gonna wind and wind and wind around the hook i am gonna go up the line a little bit here just to help keep that worm on the line and then go back down the line back towards the point of the hook and then i'm gently just gonna break that there and then what you do is you push that down away from the point of the hook tilt it to one side and then you can slide that out of the worm okay so once that's done you've then got your ragworm all baited up on your